Well, you know, we don't do a lot of interviews. We don't do interview a lot of wine uh, makers and people. And why don't we do that? Because a lot of them don't have any personality. There's a lot of flatliners out there. <laughs> but there's a guy who's no flatliner. This guy's full of boom, 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 boom on the scale. That's Mike Martini, the current winemaker and yes. relative of Louis Martini. This 2009 Louis Martini Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon being the latest and greatest coming out of there. I got the chance, I interviewed uh, Mike Martini uh, a while back. Derek's gonna throw up some video. Mm. And that guy's got personality. That guy rides a Harley. That guy makes some kick-ass wine up and down the price spectrum. And this one is actually near the low end of the price spectrum for Louis Martini. There are just a couple down at the bottom. This is still, it's not, this is an inexpensive wine. 27 bones for this uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley, but it's worth every penny and then some. Yeah, we're talking about the 2009, Joe. Yeah. And let me tell you, this 2009, whoa. <laughs> I mean, they just do, the they smell. make a lot of higher Ooh. wines and they put all of that energy and information mm. and technique oh. into this lesser expensive <clears throat> wine that this is one, so the aroma on it one whiff you say oh my god that is exactly <laughs> what i'm looking for yeah and it, you know what this is one of those wines that you could go on and on and on about but i'm not going to spend 10 minutes telling you about this but i do want to tell you some of the really really nice things of this wine Ch the cassis and cherry cassis go look it up mm. made out of black currants long story but it's like this rich black mm. currant flavor and then you got the cherry in there you got the dark berry you got you actually got the three b's blackberry blueberry boysenberry are all sitting in there and uh, you got chocolate dust oak plum that goes on and on there's a spice note in here that really rounds things out and gives it this extra dimension vanilla balance did i mention clean one of the cleanest wines when you when this when you finish the finish on this wine is so smooth and clean that you just instantly want to go back for more because your brain just goes i got to go back there i gotta go back there and uh while matt says something i'm going back there that's the <laughs> kind of wine it is I yeah mean. and you know you're in napa valley here you've got that delicious oh. napa valley <laughs> dust taste that everybody mm. is seeking out i mean in wow. 2009 it just pushed right <laughs> so out of this good. wine and there's a couple other things there's a little bit of rhubarb sweet yeah. rhubarb like that rhubarb pie yeah it's all integrated in there it's not a dominant flavor but it's in there a little one of the many layers in this wine you can pick it up and it is delicious mm -hmm. but the thing that really sends me over the edge about this wine is and i know a lot of people especially the women out there and the <laughs> ladies out there it's got this long Silky finish. Not Are you saying silky. this is another wine it for is, the ladies? It's definitely for the ladies. They're going to love uh. this wine. And it is a silky finish that is just so inviting, so captivating. I mean, it is truly just... you're. Your eyes are going to go back in your head. You're just going <laughs> to love this wine. And let me tell you, $27. Oh, this is the safest $27 wine in history. This, The real value of this wine, though, is 50 bucks. They made a $50 oh. wine that they're selling in the store for $27. Safe bet. You Safe need bet. to run out and grab this 2009 because it is at absolutely outstanding yeah you know a lot of people aren't going to shell out for uh, uh 27 bones for uh for just anything but this is the kind of 27 dollar bottle of wine that you you buy three or four bottles or six bottles or a case of it's it is that good one bottle and you'll know exactly what we're talking about this is the big two thumbs up for the Ladies wine, or in the case of Matt, uh, 2009 Louis M. Martini, Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon, $50 all day long, all day long. Oh man, that's good. That just, it doesn't get much better than that, man.